What's up everybody, Louis Marco here. Again, I had to do this video yet again to answer some questions. What you're looking at pretty much is a chicken breast swimming in its own water. This is not added water, guys. It came with it, right? And it's not natural humidity that you guys find in the, in the regular meat, right? This is added on purpose when they basically produce, I mean, when they package uh, the meat, right? They infuse literally water into it so the meat will weigh more, right? And they will sell to you for a heavier weight. Thus, they'll make more money. They do it in red meat. They do it also in seafood, specifically in shrimps. If you buy shrimps, you see them huge. And after you cook them, they will become tiny like this, right? It is a known process because a lot of you guys, especially you guys who live in third world country, you were surprised. How come they do it? Bro, they do everything. As long as it's legal, they will do it. That, that's it. So this is the kind of, 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 of problem or weird stuff we live in it. So on top of all the GMO that they feed this freaking chicken. And by the way, th this chicken is probably only, only a month and a half old. They grow like crazy. The thing is, they force them, they, they force feed them 24 hours a day. So when the chicks are born, they put them in a facility and they eat day and night. So they will grow the most optimal way. And all of them are females because the males, they grow slowly. So they kill the males actually at birth. They kill them. They put the, the, the live chicks in a grinding machine and they kill them. And this is the final result I have to, to, to cope with basically. Uh, basically my, my chicken is swimming in a freaking lake and uh, you know the, 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 the look at the power it's very low and still that's what's up so this is what they do uh, pretty much uh, finally if I would live in a, a tempered country when we have no snow like we do have in Canada I will definitely raise my own my own chicken guys I have no choice and the taste, it tastes like plastic. I got to be honest with you guys, because I lived in other countries. When you go to Africa, you know, uh, North Africa or Southern Europe, people there raise their own chicken. Trust me, it tastes real. So most of us, like North Americans or even you, you Europeans, mark my word for it. We did not, actually me, because I lived there, but you guys did not taste the real taste of, of food. When it comes to vegetables or chicken or meat, it tastes nothing here, right? It is GMO infested, pesticide infested, but this is what we have to deal with. Salute you wherever you are and, you know, comment if you guys are having the same problem as me. God bless you all.